Hey there, little learners. Welcome back to our educational video series for kids. Today, we're going to talk about the amazing world of animals. So, let's dive right in. Did you know that there are over 8.7 million different species of animals on our planet? That's a lot, isn't it? But here's the thing. We only know about 1.2 million of them. That means there are still 7.5 million animals out there that we haven't discovered yet. Isn't that exciting? Now, let's talk about the different types of animals. Did you know that there are four main groups of animals? They are called phyla. The first one is called arthropods, and they have jointed legs. That's why they're called arthropods. The second group is called mollusks, and they have soft bodies. The third group is called annelids, and they have a segmented body. The last group is called flatworms, and they have a flat body. Now, let's talk about the animals we know the most about. They are called mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded, have hair or fur, and usually give birth to live young. They also have a special organ called the mammary gland, which helps them feed their young. Did you know that there are over 5,400 different species of mammals? That's a lot. But did you also know that there are over 10,000 different species of birds? That's even more. And guess what? There are over 11,000 different species of reptiles. That's a lot of animals, isn't it? Now, let's talk about the animals that are the most closely related to us. They are called primates. Primates include monkeys, apes, and humans. Did you know that there are over 600 different species of primates? That's a lot of monkeys, apes, and humans. And last but not least, let's talk about the animals that are the most closely related to us. They are called primates. Primates include monkeys, apes, and humans. Did you know that there are over 600 different species of primates? That's a lot of monkeys, apes, and humans. So, there you have it, little learners. We've learned about the amazing world of animals and how they're divided into different groups. We've also talked about the different types of animals we know the most about. I hope you enjoyed this educational video for kids. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more fun and educational content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey there, little ones. Welcome back to our educational video for kids. Today, we're going to learn all about the fascinating world of insects. So, let's dive right in. Did you know that there are over a million different species of insects on our planet? That's a lot of bugs, isn't it? Insects come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, and they play a crucial role in our ecosystem. Insects are important pollinators helping plants reproduce. They also break down dead plants and animals, which helps to recycle nutrients back into the soil. Without insects, our world would be a very different place. Insects have six legs, two antennae, and three body parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. They also have compound eyes, which means they can see in all directions at once. That's pretty cool, right? Insects have a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton, which helps protect them from predators. They also have a unique way of growing. Instead of growing larger like we do, insects molt, which means they shed their old exoskeleton and grow a new one. Insects are amazing creatures, and they've been around for over 400 million years. That's a long time, isn't it? Insects are found all over the world, from the Arctic to the Antarctic. They can survive in extreme temperatures, from freezing cold to scorching hot. Insects are truly amazing survivors. Now, let's talk about some of the most common insects you might see in your backyard. There are butterflies, bees, and ants, just to name a few. Each insect has its own unique characteristics and behaviors. Butterflies are known for their beautiful wings and their ability to fly. Bees are important pollinators, and they make honey, which is a delicious treat. Ants are hardworking insects that build amazing structures called anthills. So, there you have it, little ones. Insects are fascinating creatures that play a vital role in our ecosystem. I hope you enjoyed learning about them as much as I did. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more fun and educational videos for kids. Stay curious, stay excited, and see you in the next video. Hey there, wonderful little learners. Welcome back to our superb educational video for kids. 
Today, we'll embark on a remarkable journey into the mesmerizing world of insects. Despite their relatively tiny size, these incredible creatures hold the key to essential processes in our environment, such as pollination, decomposition, and even providing nourishment for our multitude of animal friends. Did you know that there are an astonishing 10 million species of insects found on our precious planet? That's a staggering number of little critters to have under your watchful eye. Insects possess six legs, three separate body parts, and are not the only amazing creatures in the animal kingdom that boast six legs. Considering the diverse range of spiders, scorpions, and some centipedes that also possess six legs, you can only imagine just how diverse the world of insects really is. Within this vast world of insects, some are some of the most unique and abundant creatures found on Earth. They exist in a boundless array of shapes, sizes, and colors. Some insects are tiny, such as the mesmerizing fairy fly, while others are enormous like the behemoth giant wader. Some can fly like the enchanting butterfly or dazzling dragonflies, while others just can't, like the steadfast earwig and resilient beetle. Insects can be found across the globe, spanning from the harsh tundra of the Arctic all the way to the scorching deserts of Antarctica. They even venture into the deepest, most demanding parts of our oceans, like the awe-inspiring deep-sea isopods. Some insects are capable of flying, like the elegant bee or the enchanting butterfly, while others, like the persistent beetle, simply can't seem to soar. These extraordinary little creatures play a vital role in maintaining our environment. By assisting in pollinating plants, these insects play a tremendous role in growing fruits, vegetables, and an abundance of other foods we all relish. Their contribution in breaking down plant and animal waste maintains our environment clean and flourishing. Importantly, insects serve as food for a variety of animals, including birds, bats, and even reptiles. Some insects, such as the amazing ants, serve as a vital source of food for humans, too. So, the next time you encounter a curious insect in your surroundings, take a moment to truly appreciate its role in our beautiful, interconnected world. To delve deeper into understanding their importance to our environment, look up their various roles and study how they contribute to our planet's well-being. Thank you for watching, little learners. We truly hope you enjoyed this educational video for children. If you did, please don't hesitate to click that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. Keep sticking around for even more engaging and enlightening content. Until we link up again, remember to keep learning, exploring, and appreciating the extraordinary world we live in. Hello, dear little ones. Welcome back to our delightful educational video series for young learners. Today, we'll be exploring the truly captivating world of insects. So, let's immediately jump right in, shall we? Did you know that insects hold the title of the most diverse group of animals on our planet? Absolutely right! They appear in a wide range of shapes, sizes, and colors. Some are tiny, while others are quite large and even exhibit brightly colored patterns. However, did you also know that the overwhelming majority of them are, in fact, a dull brown or black shade? Insects possess six legs, which they utilize for walking, leaping, or even flying. Some insects, such as bees, utilize their legs to carry pollen from one flower to another across a plant. And let's not forget about bees, the only living creatures known to produce food that we can actually eat. That's right. Honey is composed of nectar that bees collect from flowers and presents a delicious treat for us to enjoy. Insects are composed of three distinct parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdominal region. Their heads contain a pair of eyes, antennae, and a mouth opening. Their thorax serves as the location where their wings are permanently attached. Lastly, the abdomens contain the legs of the insects. Insects possess an outside covering known as an exoskeleton that serves as a hard protective barrier. This outer barrier helps guard them against harm from predators. But didn't you know that insects undergo a process of shedding their exoskeleton as they grow older? That's right. They will grow inside their existing exoskeleton until it is too tight, and then they will efficiently shed it and create a brand new one. Insects possess six legs, however, not all of them are the same. 
Certain insects, such as ants, possess two sets of wings. Yet other insects, like dragonflies, are characterized by having four sets of wings. Interestingly enough, some insects, like bees, don't even possess wings at all. That's right. Bees utilize their wings to fly, but they don't differ from other insects in the leg area, unlike some other insects. Insects possess an extraordinary organ called a trachea that functions to facilitate breathing. It's a tube that runs throughout their body, transporting oxygen into their bloodstreams. Lastly, insects possess a unique way of seeing the world. They are equipped with compound eyes, meaning they contain a plethora of tiny lenses that direct their vision in all directions simultaneously. This allows them to perceive the world with superior clarity. So, there you have it, dear young ones. An enthralling look into the wonderful world of insects. We hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this educational video and that it sparked your curiosity just as much as it did for us. If you indeed did, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up on your favorite video platform, and also commit to following and subscribing for more engaging, educational content to come. Hey there, little learners! Welcome back to our educational video series for kids. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of science and learn about the human body. So, let's get started. Did you know that our bodies are made up of over 70 trillion cells? That's a lot, right? Each of these cells has a specific job to do, working together to keep us healthy and happy. Now, let's talk about our skin. It's the largest organ in our body, and it's responsible for protecting us from the outside world. Our skin is also a great detector, helping us feel hot, cold, and even pain. Next up, let's talk about our skeleton. It's a pretty amazing structure, isn't it? Our skeleton gives us shape, helps us move, and even produces red and white blood cells. Now, let's move on to our muscles. They're what make us move, and they're also responsible for helping us breathe and even digest our food. Our digestive system is a pretty impressive machine, isn't it? It's responsible for breaking down our food, absorbing the nutrients, and getting rid of the waste. Our circulatory system is another important part of our body. It's responsible for carrying oxygen and nutrients to all of our cells, and it also helps get rid of waste. Our respiratory system is what helps us breathe, and it's a pretty complex system. It's responsible for taking in oxygen and getting rid of carbon dioxide. Our nervous system is a pretty incredible system, isn't it? It's responsible for sending messages to our muscles, skin, and organs, and it's also responsible for our senses. Our endocrine system is another important system. It's responsible for producing hormones which help regulate our body's functions. And last but not least, our reproductive system. It's responsible for making babies, and it's pretty amazing, isn't it? And that's it for today's lesson, kids. I hope you enjoyed learning about the human body. Remember, our bodies are amazing machines, and we should take care of them by eating healthy, getting enough sleep, and staying active. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more fun and educational videos. Until next time, take care. Hey there, little ones. Welcome back to our educational video for kids. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of taking care of our planet. So, let's get started. Did you know that our Earth is like a big, beautiful home for all of us? It's our responsibility to take care of it, just like we take care of our own homes. You see, our planet is made up of three layers, the crust, the mantle, and the core. The crust is the layer we live on, and it's made up of rocks and soil. The mantle is a hot, liquid layer, and the core is a solid, super hot layer. Now, let's talk about our atmosphere. It's made up of different layers, and each layer has a different temperature. The lowest layer is called the troposphere, and it's where we live. The temperature changes as we go higher, and the layers are named after the Greek gods. The highest layer is called the exosphere, and it's where our satellites orbit. Our Earth is also surrounded by a magnetic field, which protects us from harmful radiation. It's like a giant magnet that extends far beyond our planet. Our planet is home to a variety of life forms, including plants, animals, and humans. It's important to remember that we all share this planet, and we need to take care of it together. Now, let's talk about the water cycle. 
Water is a precious resource that we all need to survive. It's important to conserve water and not waste it. We can do this by turning off the tap when we're not using it, taking shorter showers, and fixing any leaks in our homes. Another way we can take care of our planet is by reducing, reusing, and recycling. We can reduce our waste by buying less and reusing items whenever possible. Recycling is also important, as it helps to reduce the amount of waste that ends up in landfills. So, let's all do our part to take care of our beautiful planet. Remember, we only have one Earth, and it's up to us to protect it for future generations. Thank you for joining us today, little ones. We hope you learned something new and important about taking care of our planet. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more educational content. Until next time, take care of our planet, and take care of each other.